I'm John Weiss, and this is what's in my bag. First, three-legged race LP. It's sort of like free-form electronic music. I've heard this before, and it was very good. It's um, Robert Beattie, who is becoming quite popular making uh, a lot of LP covers. And this is his solo project. Awesome, what do you have next in your bag? Um, next, I found this, which I've never heard of. Um, it's called Erwan Calling Experimental Sound in New Zealand. And it seems to be just a lot of writing uh, by and about different artists from New Zealand who are making sound art, um, experimental music, you know, a lot of stuff like uh, Dead Sea, Bruce Russell, um, people like that. It's kind of a struggle to hear about the New Zealand artists, but um, there's a lot of them there doing really incredible stuff, so I'm hoping that this will tell me more. Next, I have this uh, By Brackage um, Blu-ray. When I was in high school, I, I managed to get a copy of um, Dog Star Man on VHS from like a sort of, you know, like a arty video store in St. Louis. But seeing it on DVD was fantastic. And then, but I can't, I really can't, you know, there's no words to describe like how much better it is seeing it like high, high definition. It's really, really great. I don't even own a Blu-ray player, but I, I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy this and, and just carry it around with me in case I ever uh, come across one so that I can watch this. This is a MSBR 7-inch and sculpture. MSPR is a Japanese experimental artist. He made music, he had a label, he had a magazine, he brought bands to Japan to tour. I went over to Japan in three tours that he helped organize, or either organized or helped organize. The last one was in 2004, and shortly after that he died very suddenly. So uh, I've, not, I've only gone to back to Japan once after that, and it seemed like there was quite a big uh, hole where, uh, where he left off. So I see that that's a record and a sculpture. Yeah, it says seven inch plus wood base artwork and transparency. I think I used to have this, but I don't totally remember. I, I believe I don't have it now. Uh, so I'm really excited to get this. Um, to my recollection, it's sort of like a, sort of like a, some thing with like a spring or something and you put the record on it and it becomes sort of like a sculptural object. This is the new No Age record. It's never seen color this way. I met Dean when I was going to CalArts when I very first moved here. After, after my first year of going to CalArts, um, my friend and I were hanging out recording in the, stu in, uh, the graphic design studios. We're actually recording the, the very first uh, Sissy SpaceX demo. And we were going to the car to listen to the mix over and over again. And Dean was uh, at CalArts for this program called CISA, which is sort of like a high school program. And um, he was, I, th I believe he was wearing a Locust t-shirt. And so, you know, we were just like, hey, How's it going? And then he came into the car with us and was like listening to it. And, uh, and then I would always see him at shows at like PCH Club and, uh, and The Smell and stuff like that. I feel like, you know, this, uh, this crew of people has, you know, sort of been part of my whole experience of living here the whole, you know, since 1998. Well, thanks, John, for coming in, showing us what's in your bag. Thank you very much. It's